creamy mushroom pasta, one of our favorites, coming up. That's right, creamy mushroom pasta, one of the girls' favorites. Literally, Judy asks for it all the time. You've seen it in the vlogs. Creamy mushroom pasta, we're gonna get right into the ingredients. First things first, have some fresh mushrooms along with dried mushrooms. I have dried mushrooms because I'm gonna prepare a stock. Make sure you soak those in the water for about an hour, if not two to three, to get those flavors out of those dried mushrooms. Next, we've got our enhancers. We've got some bacon, we've got some onions. Also, we've got the cream, of course. Herb mixture, this is parsley, tarragon, and chives. Also got some butter. For the actual sauce itself, besides the cream, we'll be using beef stock and mushroom stock. Now you don't have to use beef if you're vegetarian and you can leave the bacon out, but I just feel like both the bacon and the beef stock just adds a lot of depth. I'll be using a splash of white wine to deglaze the pan. Other than that, we've got some garlic, Italian seasoning, spaghetti, bam, olive oil, we can start cooking now. Before you get started, make sure you have a nice big pot for your pasta. Uh, start boiling that right away because you want that ready to go. Um, I'm leaving the cream out at least an hour before because I don't want that too cold and it's gonna be perfectly fine. I've got a nice pan here. This is an all clad um, high side pan. Remember, the key is thick bottom to prepare your ingredients. Already talked about the mushroom and the mushroom stock. Make sure you cut those up into thin slices. For your raw fresh mushrooms, also into thin slices. Your onions, thin slices. Mince up your garlic, mince up all of those herbs. Cut the bacon into also thin strips. And let's start cooking. The first thing I do is heat up the pan nice and hot. We're gonna add the uh, fresh mushrooms without any oil. And this is gonna help to actually bring out some of those flavors of the mushrooms and make sure it's on a high heat. Yes, it's weird that there's no oil, but you're gonna be able to hear some of those sounds. And what this is doing is bringing out some of the flavors that are hidden in the raw mushrooms. And you're gonna want it to almost actually burn the mushrooms. So the mushrooms are starting to brown, as you can see. This is about when you wanna start adding your oil and bacon. It's gonna start smoking, so you gotta do this real quick because the pan is super hot. All right, at this point, you can add a little bit of cracked pepper, some salt, and stir around. You're gonna to wanna to cook this until it's basically caramelized the bacon is almost crispy and the mushrooms are thoroughly cooked. All right, you guys, it's almost burnt, but not quite. It's golden brown though. At this point, you're gonna just remove your bacon and mushrooms and place it into a separate bowl, but keep your oil in the pan. I turn up the stove to high again and start cooking my onions. Whoa! You can also add your dried mushrooms that were rehydrated right in. Same thing as before, to stir it. About one minute into cooking, I like to add in some Italian seasoning, some more salt, some more pepper, and keep stirring. All right, so once I feel like all the ingredients have softened up, I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic. I'm using a garlic press here to add it right in and so that the flavors soak in quickly. All right, you guys, don't be afraid of some of the burnt parts. That's what I call flavor. My heat's still on high, if not high, go ahead and crank it up. I'm gonna deglaze the pan with a little white wine. You can also use the mushroom stock if you want, but I feel the sweetness of white wine helps. At this point, I'm switching to the tongs, keeping it on high heat, and I wanna reduce all the liquid until it's almost all gone. Most of my wine is evaporated. I'm gonna slowly add in the mushroom stock. Okay, you guys, make sure you don't get the gritty stuff at the bottom. I learned that from Laura Vitale, because some of the dried mushrooms can sometimes have a little bit of that gritty, sandy material at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Once your mushroom stock has reduced down, you can finish it off with your beef stock. Again, if you want, you can replace beef stock with more mushroom stock. All right, so the wine, mushroom, and beef stock have reduced down, 
and it's almost like a dribbly texture. And the way you know it's done is when you swipe your spatula across, it slowly comes back together. At this point, I'm lowering the heat and I'm gonna add my cream. Make sure to not add in all the cream at once because you wanna slowly incorporate it into the sauce. Little by little, keep stirring and keep adding. Ooh, it's creamy, it's delicious, and guess what? I've got those uh, leftover bacon and mushroom bits that I'm gonna go ahead and throw into the sauce. All you're gonna do is dump it right in there, and this is gonna finalize your sauce before you add your butter and herbs. All right, so the sauce is just about done. I'm gonna throw my pasta into the boiling water. For a pan that big for the ingredients I put, I like to use about three-fourths of the pasta. Quick parent tip, if you've got kids, you want it easier for them to eat spaghetti, I like to just break this in half. Dump it right in. The pasta is about one minute away from finishing. I'm gonna add the butter in here. Mo butter, mo beta. Add your herb mixture. Stir it. Right as your pasta is done, Throw your pasta in and you're just about done. Mix it around. Make sure you save a little bit of that pasta water because you're gonna splash a little bit of that pasta water which has got some of those starches in it. It's gonna help flavor your pasta and bind everything together. Ooh, creamy, delicious, flavorful. Gosh, look at that, look at that. All right, you guys, just got done making this amazing dish. It's creamy, it's got a lot of mushroom flavor, and it's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Austin, I cannot wait till you try this. <laughs> you guys, if you like this recipe, hit the like button. Comment below, what's your favorite kind of pasta? If you want to see all my other recipes, click the button right here. If you want to see my vlogs where I cook every day, click the button right here. As always, you guys, keep cooking. Thick bottom, and I'm glad I didn't turn that heat on because I totally just touched the bottom. Ba, ba, ba. Red leather, yellow. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, 